Hey everybody, Scott here for KPA TV. And today, I am going to uh, go over what happened with me last night at the recording, rehearsal thing. I was finally able to take the JBL Eon 612, which has become my speaker of choice for the Kemper. Uh, I used, I tried, I think I tried 10 different uh, powered speakers, including a QSC K12. Now, it was great, but not double the price great. I mean, this one sounded, as far as the EQ went, they were very, very similar to me. And the, the K12 had a little bit more pronounced highs, and that's not really something that I was terribly interested in in my guitar speaker, because I'm getting plenty of them out of this one anymore, and I will just have to attenuate them on the, uh, in my EQ. So, plus the, I mean, come on. I think it's $800. This was $449. Mm, simple math. So, uh, I ran across, I mean, all in all, the Kemper and the remote performed awesome. Everything was going along swimmingly um, until I discovered a strange issue. So, this is me reaching out to you again, the, uh, the Kemper users of the world. Um, and uh, see if you can shed some light on this. Maybe there's something I'm not quite uh, doing correctly because I'm still not an expert. I'm still working my, my way into this thing. And uh, let's see if we can get this figured out together. So, let's do that. Now, the issue that I'm having, it relates to the remote when you, well, I mean, yeah, uh, when you switch over from a profile to the performance mode, from browse to performance, the change in tone is dramatic. Uh, I'm just wondering if there's something that I'm missing that I need to do in performance mode as far as the rigs are concerned. Am I missing a step? Um, I thought you just needed to you know, tell it where to go, where to sit, and then, you know, you get the same sound, but you're not getting the same sound. So, let's go over to the Kemper. I'll play you some, uh, some bits of what I'm talking about. Hopefully, it'll translate well into the video, and we'll uh, be able to get this figured out. Okie dokie, here we are in browse mode. Now, I'm going to play you a little bit, I mean, then I'm going to play the exact same bit, switched over to performance mode. I've got the remote plugged in. Not sure if that makes a difference or not, but you know, I mean, why would you be in performance mode if you didn't have the remote plugged in? <laughs> why do these stupid questions plague me? I don't know, they just do. Anyway. <laughs> and now we're going to switch to performance mode. I've got the same exact rig profile, blah, blah, blah. Give her a listen. And then I'm going to go back and forth quickly so we can, you know, really dive in. Now, to my ears, the, uh, the performance mode lacks bite and a little bit of volume. So it's, it's, it's a combination of EQ and volume that seems to be what's missing. There you go. That is the issue of the day. And um, I'm hoping that we can figure out what's going on here or someone can, you know, help me shed some light on this because it's just not the same when you go from browse to performance. And I... It, it hurts my head because I have sensitive ears. I hear the little things and that's going to make me insane, just so you know. 
So, uh, please send me all messages, emails, uh, Kemper Profiler TV at uh, Gmail with any, uh, you know, knowledge about this. We can get it worked out and then, you know, share it with the rest of the world if there is something that I can do to fix this or if this is just the way things are. We gotta live with it. <gasps> no, I don't like that. Anyway, have a good weekend. And until next time, rock on.